Hey guys. Handy camper here. Let's get out. There's a light right here. A little bright. Down here in the uh, other part of my man cave. Um, that's where I have a bunch of my outdoor gear and and whatnot. And today I'm going to be making a small fishing kit. Not like a teeny fishing kit, but just a, a small to medium sized fishing kit to put in the one of my hiking bags just in case I run across a little stream or something while I'm hiking this summer I'd like to have a little something in there to be able to throw out and and cast to maybe catch a fish for a quick little snack or something or just for the sport of it so um, show you what I got alright guys this is my two main tackle boxes right here that I have um, and this is the wood I'm going to make it's one of these little small five compartment planos gonna put some of my stuff in there I've got in this tackle box here a bunch of uh, rubber stuff a bunch of my rubber worms and uh, little jigs my beetle I call these beetle spins that I use my beetle spam bodies, little little bodies that I use for these um, over here spinners. Some people call them spinners, I think, but I use these quite a bit. I think I have them on all my fishing rods, and pretty much this is some of my, my other stuff, some line and some different things. These right here. <laughs> This is the best tool I've ever had. It's just a really, really, really long set of pliers. And I, I know you guys have caught that fish before where it's like that freaking treble hook is like way down in there and you want to, you know, save the fish. This thing right here, especially like if you got a fish with uh, some teeth in it, you know, like a pike or something like that. <laughs> and you're not going to stick your fingers down in there. You're just going to cut the line, you know, but you don't want to, you don't want to hurt the fish. So if you're not going to eat the fish, you want to save the fish. So these things work really good, guys. I got these from my dad. Long time ago. And that's been one of my, probably my favorite pieces of fishing gear to have. Um, if you got all your stuff with you, you know. And there you see some more of my beetle spins I call them <clears throat> little bodies lots and lots of those I, I use those probably more than anything they're just my favorite there's a bunch of my my bodies for those the hooks catch a lot of uh, bass crappy brim <clears throat> on those kind of jigs I might have hung a catfish once or twice but and then again <clears throat> there's where I've got all my my bobbers down in there corks I always call them corks floats bobbers whatever comes to mind some more uh, some hog collars down in there that's what I'm talking about look like little little minnows it's already got the hook and everything in there And some more of those beetle spins. Of course, I want to at least put one small bobber in here, small float, and a couple of uh, smaller type hooks in case I do find some live bait while I'm uh, rocking and rolling. I think three of those would be pretty good. Ooh, a couple of those, huh? Well, heck yeah. 
Let's realize I had a couple of them small ones. I don't know if you can see that or not, guys. It's a really, really small one. <clears throat> It'd be good to have a variety, I guess. Uh-huh. Time to unwrap a hopper popper and put it finally in somewhere. I think maybe putting some kind of... Uh, piece of cloth on stuffed in each of the holes maybe to keep it from rattling rattling around possibly I don't rightly know yet well I'll be a red snapper around midnight it's one thing I'm gonna have to get some of yes sir sit down and go I got a small enough bobber that I put in there. Of course not. Well, I just have to make me a bobber. I have a dry piece of food. Well, that might fit. Let's see. Guess I'm not putting any bobbers in there. I'm gonna get a couple dark and some brights. My father in law got me some white ones, that's his favorite. He loves his white ones, he swears by these things. Of course, they kind of look kind of like a grub, I guess, you know, so probably work pretty good. I'll put about three of those in there. I've always had the best luck off of just uh I've always had the best luck off of like a yellowish but with a tail. Kinda like this, but a little bit lighter. You can see that. Seems like I've always had some really good luck off some yellow and green. I've really never had much luck off the ones with the little split tails like this. Really never had much luck on those. Here's a yellow one with the orange tail. That might look good in there. Oh, yeah. This crawfish job right here, man. I have caught a ton of fish off this one lure right here. <clears throat> and I've had this lure probably since I was maybe about 20. Blip, blip, blip. And, uh... I have caught a lot of fish, especially in like some spawn, farm ponds and different things like that, man. It's a good one. Okay. Never had any luck on those kind either. Kind of little tassely spinnerbait jobs. I could have sworn I had some hooks, man. Ah! I knew I had some. Forgot about that drawer, didn't you? These super, super small ones, I don't know. It's like you catch those little bitty fish that you just you always nibble on your line when you got a worm on there. Oh, about lost. This thing is so small. Get what these things are called, but to help you change your lure fast, speed, loaders, something or other. A couple of those in there. Whatever they're called. 
I think hooks, <clears throat> especially for live bait, hooks are probably the most important thing. Yeah. I want to get those caught in my bare feet. Definitely don't want to get those caught in your bare feet. Yes, sir, that wouldn't feel too good at all to get those caught in your bare feet. That's probably what I'll need. I'll probably make a some kind of little thing with some uh that kind of line on it. Eight pound test. Put those two hooks there. And leave this one just for the bottom. Five hands on the floor. That's an ugly fella. There you go, that's what I got so far. I've got my spinners and bodies over here. A couple of those quick connects, quick disconnect connect things, speed loaders, so you don't have to tie and retie every time. A couple of big ones, a couple of small ones. All my little bodies for my spinner jobs, beetle spins is what I call. Got my bunch of bodies, and I got my one little top water jig right there. And all my hooks for live bait are in here. That's what I got from a small fishing kit. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. And the out.